Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Wall, Bob Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the Alton Towers Resort. Now today, we're going to be talking about some news on the world of David Williams. You've probably seen it online today. The world of David Williams has been officially postponed until spring 2021, which in my opinion is the right decision. So today, we're going to be releasing the full statement, we're going to be saying what the statement actually reads. For all the new viewers out there on this channel, we're going to give you guys a bit of area history that dates right back to the 60s, even before the park opened. Uh, and also, we're going to be sort of cross-referencing this, I'll be explaining why I think this was the right decision. And also, we're going to be looking at the other investments in the Merlin Park, so things like the Legoland Water Park at Gardaland, Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thorpe Park... You've also got the drop tower for 2021 at Chessington, as well as their rainforest area for this year. Uh, and we're also going to be looking at how they're going to be impacted and how I believe they're going to follow suit and postpone opening. So, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss more theme park and YouTube content. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer each day. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So first of all, let's share the statement from the park themselves on the postponement of the World of David Williams area and also the Gangster Granny the Ride attraction. So, I officially found this image on Towers Time social media, so big shout out to you, but the statement is from the Alton Towers Resort, uh, and the statement officially reads, update Gangster Granny the Ride. We are sorry to say that we've taken the very difficult decision to postpone the opening of Gangster Granny the Ride until spring 2021. We are hugely disappointed, as we know many of you will be. So much hard work has gone into the design and build of what promises to be a brilliant, unique ride experience. We look forward to launching Gangster Granny the Ride and other attractions in the brand new era inspired by the world of David Williams next year with the, for all the fanfare they deserve. Thank you for your understanding. So that was the official statement from the Alton Towers uh, Resort via Towers Time social media. Now, I bet you guys want, that are new to the channel want a bit of history on the area itself. So this area has gone through four other re-themes as well as Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is the land it's replacing. So a little bit of history for you guys, for those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, before the war, the area had been the site of the tower's extensive kitchen gardens and greenhouse complex, but during the war was built over with temporary structures for the war effort. These buildings soon became derelict and were pulled down after the park returned to its owners. The concreted area left rendered the area the perfect place to set up a fairground, which is exactly what happened a few seasons after the park first opened to the public. A good selection of rides featured in the area over its near 20 year operation, from traditionals such as dodgems and carousels, through to the more daring like the Lupo Plane that spent some seasons at the park. The fairground was operated by showmen independently of the park itself, and so by the nature of travelling fairs, rides came and went relatively regularly over the seasons, giving the fairground the ability to constantly offer guests something new to experience. As the corkscrew arrived and the fairground departed, leaving the area clear to become Talbot Street the following season, despite having left over 30 years ago, there are still very visible remnants of the fairground of old. Now this area became Talbot Street in 1981, with attractions in Phase 1 between 1981 and 1984, such as Adventureland 411, Around the World in 80 Days, The Doll's House, Doom and Sons, Fantastic Fountains, Hold Tight, Thunderbird Space 1999, then in Phase 2 between 1985 and 1991, The Four Man Bob, The Alton Beast, The Alton Mouse, The Crown Carousel, The Gallopers Carousel, the Motor Museum, the Wildlife Museum, they were all added. And then in Phase 3 in 1992, the Adventureland Rail at the Adventure Railway, the Astroglide, Around the World and Crowns, and the Doll's House and Doom and Stuns and the Fountains and the Gallopers stayed. Uh, the Motor Museum and the Wildlife Museum stayed. They also added the Fun Center, the Mini Apple Coaster, and the Octopus Attraction as well. Then, in 1993... It became the land of make-believe. Now, the final season for Talbot Street, or the land of abandoned rise it had seemingly become, the end of the area also met the closure of an impressive number of its attractions. And in 1993, they debuted the land of make-believe. 
and it was a colourful street home to many of the park's costume characters entertaining the public. And also, Phase 2 was added in the same year as Nemesis in 1994 with the addition of Toyland Tours, the re-theme of Around the World in 80 Days, which is a £2 million new refurbished dart ride. And of course, that departed in 1997 for Cred Street. Now, Cred Street, again, just like Talbot Street in phases, Phase 1 between 97 and 99 included the Children's Fun Factory, the Crown Carousel, the Indoor Play Area, the Mini Apple, Nickelodeon Out of Control, Toyland Tours and the Vintage Car Ride. Then Phase 2 between 2000 and 2002, Barney's Theatre and Playground was added, the Cred Street Carousel, the Frog Hopper and of course Toyland Tours and the Vintage Car Ride stayed. Then between 03 and 05 for Phase 3, the Bouncing Bugs was added, the Cred Street Carousel, the Gallopers Carousel, the Tweenies Playground and Theatre came in, uh, as well as the completion and the continuing of Toyland Tours and the Vintage Car Ride. And then the final phase between 2006 and 2008, ATTV, Bob the Builder came in, the Bouncing Bugs, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is the re-theme of Toyland Tours, the Cred Street Playground, the Cred Street Theatre, Frog Hopper, the Gallopers Carousel stayed, the Wonders of Algernon's Attic came into the theatre space as well, and also the Piorgio Driving School on the former site of the Vintage Cars Ride. Now, of course, Cuckoo Land opened in 2009 as the brand new area. It brought many new attractions into the area, such as the rethemed themed Swinger, which is Twirling Toadstool. Of course, in 2012, Ice Age 4D turned up, the replacement of the Crest Street Theatre. Wobble World came in when the area first opened, and it was starting to look a bit drab after the Smiler incident and the Towers Living Care program closed Ice Age 4D, it closed Wobble World permanently, and Twilight Toastal as well. And of course, we didn't know the future of the area until back in 2019, the summer of 2019, when they announced the world of David Williams and the fact that the driving school was only going to be a, a separate part of Cloud Cookland. It was like its own mini area. And to be fair, I could see that because of the fact that, you know, the ride went through uh, a 2017 refurbishment. It went through the refurbishment over 2016 and then reopened in 2017 along with Hex. So after that year refurbishment of the ride, I could kind of see why the driving school would stay as it is. But it kind of doesn't make sense, but maybe that'll be a phase two. And of course, obviously we know all the story about Charlie became the dungeon. And of course, we've got this new area coming in. Nothing's happening to the theatre, nothing's happening to the driving school. All we know is the Galloper's Carousel's being rethemed, the Frog Hopper's being rethemed, and Wobble World's building, which was used as a family scare maze for a couple of years at Scarefest, known as House of Monsters, is being turned into this brand new Garmendale Dart Ride, Gangster Granny the Ride. Now, of course, there are probably going to be extra phases to this area. You look at CBB's Land and how that was expanded over years after it opened, after it first opened, you know. The David Williams brand is going to expand over a number of years. The dungeon site is going to get used, in my opinion. The Twill and Toastal site, I'm sure that will be, you know, filled in more detail. Obviously, the Galapagos Carousel is being moved over there now. But I'm sure that in future years, they're going to maybe remove that and maybe put in a brand new themed carousel. You look at Chessington Adventure Tree and you look at how... Uh, very de detailed and themed that is. Maybe put that in a new area, maybe give Katanga Canyon a family ride, like the Katanga Carousel, uh, and do like a nice fully themed carousel, new carousel experience, maybe a double decker carousel. Um, and I think use the Twilling Toastal site for something new. Obviously the theatre space, the driving school should be rethemed. So there's still a lot of expansion space for the world of David Williams. Uh, and of course we've got the news today that it's been postponed until spring 2021. And to be fair, I guessed it months ago. I said to you guys, I see this coming. After Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park, of course not in the Merlin Chain, but uh, still one of the best theme parks arguably in the UK. You know, Polton's part with their new area. They're postponing that till spring next year. So, obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed, next year we'll be down there still for the media day to check that out. Uh, and same here with Alton Towers. Hopefully, we'll be down there next spring to check out this new area and obviously film a video for you guys uh, and hopefully get a POV of the ride as well. So, obviously, with the postponement until 2021 with this new area, you know, we spoke about how we're going to talk about the other attractions in the Million Chain that haven't announced anything yet. Obviously, the Rainforest Area for 2020 at Chessington. The Drop Tower for next year, you know, is both of them going to open in the same year? Have the push back the Drop Tower another year to 2022 to allow the Rainforest to open in 2021? 
Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thought Park. Any other future plans for Thought Park? You know, obviously we want to see a new coaster at Thought Park. Has that been pushed back another year now? If, if, if they were going to plan a new coaster for like 2023 or something like that, are they going to now push that back another year till 2024? And again, vice versa if it's another year. Um, any other future projects? Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers. Obviously that was sp first spoke about around Christmas time. Uh, with the little one second millisecond mention in the little randomized Twitter clip um, You know is that gonna get pushed back another year wherever that's gonna be There's loads of things that could be happening and loads of things that could be pushed back another year Chessington, you know they spoke about in their long-term development plan a couple of years ago about a new coaster in the possibly in the Dragon's Fury opposite Dragon's Fury in the little uh, in the big grass field you know has that been pushed back another year there's loads of projects that they're going to be coming up with for these parks have they been pushed back another year or or have projects like the Drop Tower for Chessington obviously the new Lego Movie World don't forget Legoland Windsor you know has that been pushed back another year or is that going to still open in 2021 uh, along with the 2020 developments for Legoland Windsor uh, and reopen them. So there's a lot of questions about future developments, but I think, in my opinion, it was the right decision. And I think that, you know, to be fair, I, I told you guys, I predicted it months ago, I think that Alton Towers will postpone this attraction till next year. I, I, I told the truth. I, I predicted it. And, you know, you guys probably agree with me there. And I, I could see this announcement coming. Obviously, it was today and it, was came, it came out of the blue, so I was kind of surprised. But I had an idea that this announcement would come because it needed to be made. I don't think they could have opened... It, it doesn't matter how close they were in the development of this new attraction in this new area. I still think they would have done it, you know, next year anyway. I still think they would have brought out that announcement. It just came out of the blue today. Didn't expect it today, but I, I knew it was coming in my opinion. Uh, so I think that Alton Towers have made the right move. They've made the right decision there. They've absolutely put the right measures in place for when they do reopen the park uh, with the current attractions. And of course, don't forget guys, it only makes the excitement even better for the new attraction. It means we can wait months and months and months and we can get ready and get excited for this brand new dark ride and it's a you know don't forget obviously exclude the fact of nemesis of terror um you know and charlie and things like that in terms of a new dark ride from scratch you know this is the first new dark ride from scratch since the defunct nemesis of terror opened in 2012 so you know eight years now going to be nine years without a brand new from scratch dark ride is a long time and i think it's going to be worth the wait so um, for those of you who are quite sad, you know, that this has been postponed another year, I'm sad as well, but we've got to do what's right, and Alton Towers are going to do what is right, uh, and that is the right decision in my opinion, but it will be worth the wait, don't you worry guys, it will be worth the wait, hopefully, fingers crossed, Coast Chow will be down there next year at Alton Towers for the opening of this new dark ride fingers crossed uh get the pov hopefully get some interviews with the people behind it you know get my thoughts on this new ride get the thoughts on the new area as a whole obviously try and walk around the area try and pick out any new developments that could be future expansions for this you know new uh, area and how and how and where they could expand obviously the old coaster corner could be an area for expansion but obviously due to certain reasons we, you know we're not really expecting a new attraction in there Nickelodeon out of control I mean should they use that building we know the frog hopper being rethemed has been moved back to its old location so you know is, are we going to see that moved again or maybe frog hopper uh, you know removed or something like that and you know the re-theme of frog hopper is like a temporary couple of year thing and we maybe get a new attraction in the out of control building if they if, i don't know i'm not entirely sure what that building holds at the minute comment down below if you know but i'd like to see a new attraction in that building there's loads of expansion for this area and i'm sure the old towers will be doing the right thing for the right reasons i completely agree with this decision and i hope you guys agree with it as well so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update on the postponement of the world of David Williams. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more content. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.